You are in the air conditioning uh, business and uh, you want to know, well, how could this work for me? Really, really simple. Okay, if your air conditioners are somewhere between, you know, X hundred dollars and maybe $5,000, just give it away with the air conditioner. Uh, so therefore, for argument's sake, if you're selling a three and a half thousand dollar air conditioning system, and you said, uh, you, know, you buy this, we'll give you a free holiday. Do you think that might distinguish you from your competitors? I think it might. When all of your competitors are racing to the bottom and dropping their prices, you are going to give away a value add, which is, well, extraordinary. Um, because I don't have a calculator, calculator on me, and I have to remind myself to get one of those for these things, but if you were, giving away something that was a thousand dollars sorry you were giving away a, 90, a holiday that was costing you 97 dollars for a thousand dollar purchase then that would be uh, 10 percent okay so it's just like having a 10 percent discount but on steroids because you've swapped the 10 percent discount into a happy meal toy for adults which is a holiday right if you're selling something for two thousand dollars then uh, you gave away a holiday which cost you 97 dollars guess what it's equivalent to a five percent discount and so on and so forth you can do the maths yourself the extraordinary thing about this is the fact that it's extraordinary. You're giving a gift as an incentive for people to purchase your air conditioning services. Um, that is extraordinary because the gift itself, depending upon where these people go uh, and when they go, these people being your customers, is worth somewhere between $1,000 and $2,000. And uh, these are nice resorts that they've got the options to go to. Uh, as simple as that, um, if you are uh, dealing with maybe a higher priced air conditioning uh, service it might be ducted air conditioning and so therefore we're talking maybe eight or nine or twelve thousand dollars you might then like to consider using this as a lead generator and so therefore if you're selling a ten thousand dollar ducted air conditioning uh, service or product uh, and you've got let's say two and a half thousand dollars profit in that then would you give away ninety seven dollars a few times in order to get leads because you know you've got a good conversion rate. You've got to ask yourself that. So if I said to you, okay, you've got a $10,000 air conditioning uh, uh, product. What do you make out of that? Let's just say, let's, let's just say $2,000. Let's not even go silly. Let's just say 2,000 out of the $10,000 is your profit margin. And if I said to you, well, for uh, the quotes that you get at the moment, which might be from the likes of High Pages or One Flare, uh, you know, what's your close rate? and your sale depends on you know, how far I drop my price because normally if you're dealing through one of those lead generation companies, it's dependent upon how far you drop your price. But let's just say that your hit rate is one in three. Okay, so therefore in that case, then if you advertised on Facebook uh, and AdWords and you said, listen, just let me give you a quotation. Just let me give you a proposal on my ducted air conditioning system and whether you buy or not, I'll still give you a free holiday. Can you imagine what that's gonna to do to your leads? <laughs> Can you imagine Facebook should explode for you, okay? And if you're confident that you uh, will convert one in three, that means you're gonna pay out three holidays at $97, let's say $300, to sell a $10,000 system that you get two grand profit out of. If you're getting two grand profit uh, in return for handing out three holidays at 100, or near enough $100 each, I think you do that every day of the week. And so therefore, if you've got a higher priced item above the $5,000 mark, instead of giving it away with that product, you might like to give that away with leads because this is like an avalanche leads generator. There's no question about that. And if you're sitting there thinking, oh yeah, but you know, if I hand it out with leads, you know, do I just, it, anyone's gonna waste my time? No, well, obviously that's up to you. So if you're running a Facebook campaign where the actual picture has, you know, you putting in a ducted air conditioning system on the left-hand side of the, of the rectangle, on the right-hand side, you've got a family having a wonderful holiday and the headline underneath that Facebook ad says, get a quote on air conditioning from us and you know, you've got a free holiday uh, to any one of these luxurious locations, you're gonna get quite a few people that'll click that ad and go through to the landing page. Now, when they go through to the landing page, which of course is meant to capture their data so that you can follow them up, it would have some pre-qualification questions in there uh, so that you are going to make sure that whoever you're giving a quote to at least is a reasonable lead. And if they don't tick the right boxes in that, well, of course you don't give a quote. If you don't give a quote, then they don't get the free holiday. So it's all in your control. Okay, so don't worry sitting there thinking, oh, well, hang on, if I get 10 bad leads, maybe I won't close, you know, three of them like I normally. Well, you just make sure that you don't do a quote for leads that look like they're rubbish. So it's as simple as that. You, you're in control of that. You know what the pre-qualification questions are in order to make the decision to go and give them a quote. It is a lead generator on steroids. There's absolutely no doubt about that. So if you've got a higher ticket line, use it as a lead generator. If you've got a one or $2,000 air conditioning product, then give it away with the product. That's about it. If you want to go forward, you know what to do.